y'all it's carissa from naturally gg coming today i just want to do like a quick little vlog um about hair typing and curl envy in my first year of being natural i was guilty of this um and also i would hear and witness fellow naturalistas sort of comparing their curl pattern to fellow natural women and um as I just gain more experience with my natural hair, as I bond more with my hair, I am embracing it more and more and more every day, more fully. Like, even on my bad hair days, I'm like, this is my hair, hate it or love it, or I'll throw a turban on in this case. By the way, this is an Egyptian cotton scarf that I actually purchased in Egypt. Any scarf will do I, for this um, style. open the scarf, and I just put it around my head. I twisted it. In the front, I held it down here, I wrapped it around, and I tucked it in. It's so simple. I had seen this done on the YT, and I decided to give it a try for myself. And I actually love this. I've been running errands all day. I've been getting compliments on this. Turn so it. back to it. The topic today is curl envy. And it's something that I see... Um, it's it's sort of a problem in my opinion because it's like the reason why most of us went natural I think well was for several reasons one it was a healthier decision for our hair if you're like me your permed hair it was it was cute you know it was it was shiny it was straight it was silky it was all these things but it wasn't healthy like when you feel like you have to trim your hair every five to six weeks every relaxer that's not normal people you know when i had a perm i thought that i was supposed to get my hair trimmed every five to six weeks upon getting a relaxer which was true because my ends were damaged you know the chemical processes were harsh on the hair but um being natural and you know having healthier hair um reducing the chemical processes eliminating the chemical processes and just you know nourishing your hair you don't need to cut your hair every six weeks hun like maybe maybe twice a year some people don't even cut their hair twice a year or trim their hair twice a year um do it as often as you see fit but um yeah so having to keep your ends cut 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 every month or two it's a problem it's not healthy hair um and i've had i've heard of individuals saying baby i got a perm but my hair is healthy because i keep my hair cut i got healthy hair it stays cut well if it's half if it has to constantly be cut is it really healthy hair another reason why a lot of people went natural i said one was the health reasons better for your overall body um you know better for the skin better for the scalp better for the system because those chemicals believe it or not they do uh over time they affect your system your body anything that you put on your skin it does get absorbed into the bloodstream over time especially with these harsh harsh chemicals so we have the health we also have the look let's be honest some people went natural because they saw somebody else with a fro and was like i like it i think it's pretty and there's nothing wrong with that i love the way kinky curly big afro bush hair looks um and i prefer that on me now more so than silky straight hair um another reason why one may choose to go natural is because they want to really just focus on self and they're curious about their texture. They want to make a change in their life. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Everybody is different and everybody's journey is different. And I mentioned this in my first video ever made on YouTube was um, I went natural for like all these reasons. And then some, I was curious about my texture. I wanted to see what my hair could do. I wanted to see what my natural growing hair looked like without perms. I wanted a healthier lifestyle for myself. I wanted to save money. I didn't want to be in the beauty shop every two weeks. I didn't want to have to be dependent on a beautician. I, you know, it was it, just so many reasons. Um, but I 
don't want my fellow naturalistas to make the decision to go natural or even to continue to go natural in the hopes of their curl pattern looking like somebody else's. What really saddens me is when people do go natural and then they're like, my natural hair isn't what I thought it would be. Um, my curl pattern isn't what I thought it would be. I thought I would have bigger curls, looser curls, and it doesn't look like such and such so-and-so's hair. I'm like, that hurts my feelings because Curl envy, it really prohibits you um, to really experiencing the be the benefits, the beauty and the joy of being natural and embracing your natural texture. That is what being natural is supposed to do for you. It's supposed to open your eyes to your natural beauty, not somebody else's natural beauty, not somebody else's curl pattern. Being, a, being of African American descent there are so many cultures like if you are an african-american woman you are all mixed like you're all mixed in there you're likely to have a little bit of indian if you're like me you know you have african blood you have indian blood i have ancestors from france that came to louisiana um french blood jamaican so with all these different cultures in us all these different subcultures, nobody's hair is going to be the same. There is not two people on earth whose texture, whose density, whose, whether it be coarse hair, whether it be fine hair, whether it be a high density, a medium density, a low density, whether it be, and I really don't care for hair typing much, but a 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, B, C, nobody's texture is going to look the exact same. So when you're watching these YouTube videos and you're seeing people's hair, and that's great motivation for you to be like, oh, because I know I've been looking at some of y'all on YouTube, some of these vloggers, and I'm like, that hair. And they just be doing these tutorials, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna do that, but this is great motivation. It's great inspiration. But my hair, even if I do the exact same method, use the exact same products, I'm natural for the exact same length of time, I can't expect my hair to do exactly what this woman's hair is doing, has done. I just have to do my best. I have to care for my hair, the health of my hair, to the best of my ability, and I have to love it, and I have to embrace it. And uh, my sister and I, if you are subscribed to our channel, Amber and I, we have two very different it, types it, of hair point, textures. I was like, I wish I had your curl pattern. And um, Amber loves me to death, y'all. So she was just like, boo, your hair is beautiful. Like, we speak positively to each other every day. That's one of the things I love about my sister and I's relationship. We're always motivating each other, always inspiring each other, and we speak positively to each other. And the tongue is powerful, you guys. So it's about time that we start speaking positive affirmations to our hair. And let's see how that changes some of our perspectives. Let's see how our hair responds to us when we love it more. It's like with, with gardening or with planting. If you know somebody that's really passionate about gardening, they love their garden, they love their plants, they even speak to them. And in return, the, the plant, it, it receives all this attention and nourishment and it just, it can flourish. And I think if we start speaking positive affirmations about our hair, my hair is beautiful. My hair is uniquely and individually crafted. It is one of a kind by the maker himself the one creator who can make this texture possible. Listen, it's a, it's a powerful thing. So, um, like I said, I was looking at Amber's hair, I was looking at my hair. We were doing the same methods. We were using the same products. My hair, it just would finish differently. My twist out would look different. And um, I had to really accept my texture. I am a... And here we are with the hair typing, but to make it more translatable to you guys, it's a 4B all throughout. I do not have combination textures. I am an even 4B all throughout my hair, and I'm a medium density, 
and I have a fine. So fine hair, hair is more. It'll it'll shrink up on you more. Fine hair seems to be just not have much weight to it, so it's not gonna hang and be heavy. Anyways, so back to curl envy. Um, we all might experience it curl envy at one point or another especially if we're newly natural especially if we we haven't really had that bonding time with our hair so I encourage you all to have lovely bonding time with your hair and it takes time and it's you know you have to have comfortability and um, enjoy your natural hair for exactly what it is take good care of it um, avoid stress on your ends if you use color, be very careful with your color treatments. Make sure you're doing your deep So that was just my two cents. I just, I've been wanting to get this video out there for a long time. Thank you guys for uh, watching and listening. Um, I hope I changed someone's perspective. I hope I was inspirational to you today. That's all I'm gonna be able to do is just share my experiences and hopefully help make yours a little bit easier a little i want to be relatable so um go ahead and yeah. subscribe um we have amazing things coming up very soon we really appreciate each and every one of our subscribers and we will talk to you later